So the first thing that you want to do when it comes to disassembling the Latitude E7290 is to take out the SIM card tray. And the SIM card tray is on the same side as the Ethernet port and it's just here. It's below the uh, micro SD card reader. And what you're going to use is you're just going to use one of these uh, SIM card pins that you get with your phone. You're just going to stick it in the hole where the SIM card tray is, like so. Press down and it, and it then comes away. So to take off the bottom case, the bottom lid, the bottom case, sorry, of the Latitude 7290, what you're gonna do is you need to take out eight Phillips head screwdrivers and they're here, 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 here and here. So here we go, I'll just quickly take them off. Now I found these screws really hard to actually come out completely. So I've kind of loosened them as much as I can and then I leave them in the cover as I flip it off. And then what I'm going to do is I've just got a plastic pry tool and I'm just going to kind of go between the, the case and the actual body of the laptop. And this is a good place to start up here um, at the top right of the laptop where the case is by the screen. And you can see that my lid has come off very easily um, you may and I've already taken it off once so that's part of the reason but when you do it you may just have to run the pry tool round under between the cover and the actual body of the laptop and then it will just snip off like so so once the bottom cover is off we can then take the battery out and the battery and you can see it here this large black uh, rectangle is held in by two screws Phillips head screws so you've got one screw here and one screw here so need to unscrew these first put the screws in a safe place And then also what you've got here is you've, the battery is held in with a plug here. So all we're going to do is the plug, the connector has a black tab for you to hold on to. Just gently pull it up and the battery comes away like so. So having done that we can now take out the power jack here which is up in the corner. Now the power jack is secured by two things. Firstly it's a Phillips screw over a metal jack over a metal bracket and then of course it's secured by being plugged into the motherboard. So let me take out this Phillips head screw first of all. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently use a plastic pry tool just to manoeuvre this bracket off. Now be a bit careful um, because there we go because this end here on this bracket has got a hole in it 
and that hole actually fits beneath a little plastic clip here on the kind of baseboard of the laptop itself so you need to maneuver that off as well now we can unplug the um, now we can unplug the power jack from the motherboard so what I would do is just start it off with a pry tool being a bit gentle because these connectors can be you know very delicate and then as soon as you've started to pull it away and you feel it's a little bit looser you can then just start to wiggle wiggle it loose with your thumb and your forefinger like so and then there we have it and there are the details of the, the power adapter or the jack, sorry. So that says CN023, zero, uh, sorry, CWT, GE, GO or CO. So that's the model number that you need for your Dell Latitude 7290.